What's up, y'all? This is Fat Man School. And Shonda. Man. And wife. And right now, you're on Planet Abiola. Planet Abiola. Planet A. You want to say anything, man? <laughs> Fat Man School. Planet A. Fat Man School. Planet A. Planet Abiola is the show that I transmit. People, we are broadcasting from parts unknown in the Renaissance bunker, underground, <laughs> for only one man, the man, the myth, the legend, Kamal the Abstract, AKA Q-Tip, which some say Q stands for Queens and Tip stands for Get Off His. All right, <laughs> I think it old school a little bit. So welcome, welcome, Q-Tip. How are you? How I'm are you fine, I'm fine, I'm Good. fine. Now you have been successful in the game for two decades. Mm. Um, and this show is a global experience. So there may be people who are new to the Q-Tip experience and you know don't know about Tribe Called Quest and all that. Tell, her, tell us a little bit about how you got started. Bam, what's up? It's Abiola and I'm here at Babeland. Babeland, for those of you who don't know, is not just for goddesses like moi, the goddess of love, but it's for anyone who's looking for a fun and frisky time. This is a woman's friendly sex shop. And I gotta tell you, I didn't know what to expect coming here. Um, it's like the sharper image of sex toys. So come on, let's go. I felt very Mr. Rogers ish with that. Well, so introduce yourselves. What's up, Ruth? How you doing? This is our, our generation's our next Richard Pryor. Go ahead. Hey, my name is Nathaniel, aka OJ. Babyface Jackson over here. <laughs> my name is Erskine, they call me Ersh, and this is my crib. This so is his crib. All right, guys, so how and where are people meeting people? Like, you know, everybody's got their MySpace, you know, Black Planet, Black Singles, whatever. Is is this a legit way to, to meet people? I want to meet somebody true. I mean, it goes the same way as meeting somebody in person. You know, you want to put up... The truth. You, know, you want to put up some type of authenticity of yourself so that you can meet that type of match. But the internet is a mess. This chick online the other day, I said, you didn't put up no picture. She say, well, do you like the way Oprah look? I'm a little bigger than her. <laughs> well, see, <laughs> but think about it, is that big Oprah or little Oprah? Right. That's what I asked. Oprah okay, see, if you a little oh, bit no, big, no, 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 no. if you a little bit bigger oh, than little Oprah, true. that's okay. But he said, a I'm a little bigger. bigger. He didn't say I look like Oprah. She said I'm, I'm built look. like Oprah. <laughs> they have a good picture. I think that's important for both women and men because I always say if people have one picture, it's a problem because people could get it together for one pic picture right. and look the best that they ever look and in their life. It. Let me see more than one picture with different I mean, No, some things we didn't lie about. Really I don't even know if you was doing pornography like 15 years ago. Just tell right. me I did some things in the past you might see on TV. This is Casey Gain McCalla, assistant editor for News One. We have an exclusive interview with the vice presidential nominee for the United States of America from the Republican Party, Sarisha Palin, here with her only interview she's doing with anybody but Fox. What color are you anyway? I just like to know who I'm dealing with. Um, I could get into my background later. Okay. But, you know, okay. I, I really rely on You are an Arab, aren't you? I see it around the eyebrows. You got those shifty Arab eyebrows. Qualified to be the Vice President of the United States of America. You know, on behalf of all of us who are opposed to liberal media bias, that I am completely qualified to be the next Vice President of these here United States. I've been the, the PTA President, and then I was on the uh, City Council. And then at that point, I was voted president of Brooklyn. You like that. You like that, don't you? What are you, an a -Rab? And that's why all of those rumors have, other than a bunch of comedians who just want to say something, well, that's, a, that's why the rumors have ceased, because they know that they can pick that book up, and people have followed that book and lost 30, 40, and 50 pounds. You know, I've checked out the book. I've checked out the fitness book. How, how am I doing over here? Baby, you doing just fine. <laughs> Atta girl. <laughs> oh, okay. So let's talk about Baby. Let's talk about this first single. It's crazy. Thank you. It's crazy. It's fun. It's feel good. Thank the you. video is hot. Thank it's you. off the chain. Like I looked at it, and it's funny because one of my friends she's like, "This is classic LL." I said, "No, this is new LL." And then we both look at each other and say, "You're right." Tell me why you think that people have been so. Uh, the reaction has been so great to your book. People, for one, they know it exists. And you know that you know somehow the entertainment industry. Yes, there are gay people in the entertainment industry. Surprise! <laughs> Clutch your pearls. Right. <laughs> now I know that you don't name names in the book. Um, 
Mr. Terrence Dean. But, uh, you know, uh, are there any uh, descriptions that you want to give us of, of people that you are aware of? He is blushing like crazy over here. Um, <laughs> you don't have to name names. I'm just reminiscing. Just Ooh! Whoa! Whoa! Okay! All right. <laughs> he um, was he partook in a a sexy rendezvous. I'm sure that he has never forgotten. Mm. Neither have I. Nice. My life is boring. <laughs> I gotta come to Hollywood. I gotta come to Hollywood. How many people say there's a difference between hip hop and rap? Well, rap is a subcategory of hip hop. Hip hop is a culture. Um, hip hop embodies. Um, different categories of dance, language, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, writing, mm -hmm. style, clothing-wise, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, and music. Like, is your your style because you're a hip hop gentleman, and now this is your style? Is this now hip hop style? Well, yeah, because hip hop. The thing about hip hop style, which which makes hip hop so great, it infuses what's around the environment mm -hmm. and makes it a part of itself. Get them, girls. Check the apron. It says, I'm smart, I'm sexy, and I cook. Yeah. See, a common misconception, people think that I don't cook. I actually do cook, but not as well as this lady right here. So that's why she's going to give me some lessons right now on the kiss of honey potatoes. All right, so talk to me, Janice. All right. First and foremost, I've poured both of us a glass of wine just to kind of loosen up the mood and mm -hmm. get us First comfortable and foremost, in the kitchen. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, now what? <laughs> All right, so I need you to melt the three tablespoons of butter, and you can melt that on, like, one minute is fine. Okay. Or, or just until it melts. Okay, now if we're making potatoes, how come my duty is melting the butter? Well, what happened is I want you to drink your wine, well, get comfortable. Well, what happened was... But, and, you know, I don't really, you know... What? I, I can't, you, I can't I, you know, make potatoes? <laughs> <laughs> of course you can make potatoes, but I just don't want you cutting them. Why you don't want me cutting them? Because. Honey? Sweet, sticky, and perfect for drizzling. So addictive, it should come with an age limit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so honey is also an aphrodisiac? <laughs> well, honey itself really? is not necessarily oh, aphrodisiac. Oh, okay. the, idea, <laughs> the idea of honey, the stickiness, okay, the, the idea, sweetness, the, okay. the spreadability of it. Okay, so mm -hmm. you might want to make this and then have the honey in your, in your apron pocket yes, for a little later For a little on. later okay, drizzling right. later okay. on. So gorgeous. I'm enjoying the most divine jasmine green tea at Bidonville Coffee and Tea in Brooklyn, New York. The your self-declared goddess of love is hanging today with Tawana Hines. She's known as the funky brown chick, voted one of AOL's top bloggers. And today we're finding out where are the men, Tawana? Exactly. <laughs> where are they? Where are the boys? Not only just where are they, where are the good boys? Too. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Because exactly. just any old man USA is on the corner. I know, right there. <laughs> so we're going to find them today. Okay. We're going to root them out. <laughs> and then we want to find out what turns them on, what turns them off. Why do they, when we do find them, use such supremely bad pickup lines? Hey, mommy! Oh, God bless you. You look good. Oh, well, why you don't smile? Why you don't smile? And it's like, you know what? I would have smiled, but now. <laughs> the EVs. Uh, see, I have a new a new word now. I didn't mm -hmm. know that they even had a name. Mm -hmm. Tell the EVs what you look for in a woman. What you look for in a mate. Like somebody who knows how, who has um, yeah, lived both the good and the bad of life, and has grown from the process. Right. Mm -hmm. True EVs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she was found in a pumpkin patch with a strong vision of the future and astrology, I think. Um, and that's what qualifies her, right? I, I was given this title. Yes. So what's the deal for Aries? It's now April, and April in like an line, right? No, in no, like no, no, a no. Line. that was March, Lucy. That was last month. This is April. Uh, March goes, comes in like a lion, like me. And it goes out like a lamb. So this means April is a lamb. Out like a but lamb. But April showers? April showers bring Mayflower. Let, let's just get into it. What's up, y'all? This is Fat Man Scoop. And Shonda. Man. And wife. And right now, you're on Planet Abiola. Planet Abiola. Planet A. You want to say anything, man? <laughs> Fat Man Scoop. Planet A. Fat Man Scoop. Planet A.